Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Taking advantage of some warmer weather that uh, we finally had coming in and uh, getting the garden ready, or at least uh, starting to prep some stuff for uh, once the spring finally hits. We've got our raised beds and our trellises. I've done a couple of videos on. They worked really good, but we uh, planted too much. We really didn't have enough space. So I've got a couple more raised beds that uh, I'm building right now, getting ready to set them up. Uh, a few more planter boxes too. I found out growing on these trellises, if I had the planter boxes and had my melons or you know whatever was growing up on them, they did much better this way and plus it made it easier to mow. So I built a few more of those. We're getting ready to set them. We're gonna put some more trellises. And uh, of course, another exciting thing that you're gonna be seeing here pretty soon is uh, we're gonna put some uh, grow tanks, some aquaphonics in here. I've got some IBC totes that I'm building and converting, hopefully gonna get started this afternoon. And we're gonna do some freshwater shrimp, some crawfish and rainbow trout in the garden as well. And take a look at some of the planter boxes, uh, one of our Halloween decorations that uh, didn't get put up yet. But uh, we're getting them, like I said, kind of setting up. I uh, tried doing it with some fence uh, wood. It was pretty cheap at Home Depot. Thought it might work out. Pretty flimsy, so I did go back to uh, using just uh, treated two by sixes. But uh, the main reason of this video is uh, these lovely things right here. I did these uh, winter gardens, uh, these, I don't know, hoop houses, hoop beds, whatever you want to call them. And uh, things started up okay, and then we got this huge winter storm with 80 mile an hour winds that came through. And when that happened, it uh, destroyed them, and I kind of patched them back together, but I think the damage has pretty much been done. I'm not going to get a uh, winter garden this year. The uh, cold and the lack of any protection pretty much killed everything. So, back to the drawing board. I'm going to tear these down, and I'm gonna, I've got another design that I'm going to try. Basically, the uh, 2x4 rails I have on top, I'm going to have another set and put hinges to where I can kind of lift it up to get into there, but also uh, to kind of secure them a little better. And the idea is I'm getting ready to put seeds in uh, pots inside and start getting some tomatoes and uh, other plants starting to grow. So when I do, instead of normally the end of April, we're here in northern Missouri, we can put stuff out. If these are on and these are secure enough, my idea is that uh, I can probably go ahead and plant probably about middle to late March and get an extra month of growing time in and an extra month of plants. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. And to start off, I am going to uh, start breaking the old one down. It's supposed to be about 60 degrees here today. So if anything is living in there, you know, it's not going to kill it while I'm gone for work until I can get everything built. But I'm going to try to break it down before I got to leave for work today. One thing with these that uh, I've talked about in the other videos, and uh, definitely we'll put a link to these, they're cheap, but with uh, using PVC and the plastic, these little clips work pretty good. They're cheap, and uh, just another way to, to help hold them on. So we're going to break this down, and once we get a breakdown, I'll show you the build. So I've got the frame built. I've pretty much got everything done except for putting the plastic back on. And uh, basically, you know, like I was saying, I've got a rail of two by fours around the side and I built a frame on the top of two by fours as well. And there's, uh, I moved the PVC brackets up to raise them a little bit. So besides, you know, hopefully being a little stronger, I don't have the plastic on, I'm gonna get some heavier plastic than what I had and uh, see maybe if that helps a little bit. But I have, uh, that's the reason I was coming back here. So I've got hinges that I put over on this side. And I got this idea from, uh, actually from another YouTuber. I don't remember who, I think it might've been Millennial Gardener. 
Uh, if it's uh, not him, if it's someone else and you're, you know, watching this and I'm not giving you credit, I do apologize. Let me know and I'd be more than happy to, uh, you know, give you the credit. But anyway, I've got the hinges on the other side. So one, one thing when I was working on it, it was a little hard to get in there and work. Now with the hinges, move the camera for a second. I can lift it up, and since I've got the fence posts on the edge that are holding my uh, trellises up, they'll hold them up. I'm probably going to get a little stick to put in here, but that way I can kind of get in, I can kind of work on it, and uh, then when I'm done working on it, drop it back down, and I've got the, uh, got the safety of the greenhouse. I do have a couple areas I have noticed. Uh, so if you've seen it in the camera before you leave it in the comments that uh, there's a couple gaps on the bottom and it's basically uh, just getting some small scraps of two by four to kind of fill in there so yeah i'm aware of that i'm going to get the uh the plastic in i think i'm also going to bring the tiller in i've got some fresh compost on the top uh some compost a lot of it actually is uh from the horse stalls that's uh, kind of composted down it's good and dry so we're going to Blend that in, maybe add just a little more in here of uh, dirt, but going to have it all ready to go. Probably not going to put anything in here yet, although I am getting ready to start seeds for uh, tomatoes, uh, stuff like that. That I, Like I said, I normally, you don't put them out here till late April. I'm going to try probably about St. Patrick's Day, 1st of April, going ahead and planting with the idea that this... Uh, you know, we'll keep them if we get a frost and uh, keep them safe. So it's Matt with McGee Farms. Hope you enjoy the videos. Hope they help you out, give you some ideas. If you like them, please consider giving us that thumbs up down there. That helps the channel. Also subscribing and watching all the way through. It uh, kind of gives YouTube, uh, it hits their algorithm and it bumps the videos up. So you see more videos of uh like this gardening rather than more videos of uh, Taylor Swift or uh, somebody trying the hottest pepper challenge. Of course, unless you want to see more Taylor Swift or the hottest pepper challenge. But Anyway, it's Matt from McGee Farms. Have a great day.